Okay, today we're going to be looking at task.spawn. So this is a great way to run code in parallel. So what that means is you'll have You'll have a script for example and usually what happens is the code runs in stages right it does one line at a time so if we were to print hello and then we were to wait five seconds and then print goodbye we'd obviously would get the, the hello printed out and then we'd wait five seconds and then it'd print goodbye but hello and goodbye wouldn't print out at the same time because it's being held up by this task dot wait uh, but sometimes you have code that you 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 run it at a certain time in the script but you don't you know you don't necessarily necessarily want to hold up the rest of the script so like you don't mind it being run in parallel so how do we make code run in parallel and when i say in parallel i just mean run it at the same time as the rest of the script you can sort of branch code off into its own subscript if that makes sense um it's still part of this script but it's just, it's running at the same time as the rest of the script. So let me give you an example. If I was to put uh, another print here and I'll say five second wait finished, what would happen is we'd, we'd get the print hello, it'd wait five seconds and then print five second wait finished and print goodbye would happen at the same time. But if I said task.spawn function, okay, uh, and I put this task.wait uh, here, what would happen is we'd get hello, we'd get goodbye, and five seconds later, we'd get five second wait finished. So we've got hello and goodbye. The script is carried on because we've spawned this function into its own thread. So what happens is we've branched off. So we've said, okay, hello, and then we say, okay, what's next? Ah, task.spawn. So that means run this code now, but carry on immediately. So we've just we've just put this code into its own thread, and it's it's running parallel to the to the script. So it's running at the same time. It's not holding up the script. So uh, whenever you put code in a task dot spawn, it means you are uh, letting the script continue, and you're running the code inside the task dot spawn at the same time in parallel. Okay. Now it's kind of hard to see the use of this, um, but it will be very practical when you're coding because sometimes, like I say, there's things that you don't need to wait for. For example, if you're looping through something, perhaps you're looping through all of the players in the game to, you know, set their characters transparency. You don't need to hold up the rest of your script in that case because it's just a like a something that can be done in the background. You know, we don't have to wait for that to be done before we can continue. So you can put it into a into a task.spawn. And the other nice thing about it is you can actually keep a variable for your thread. So the thread is almost like the secondary script. It, it's, the, it's the bit that we've branched off. It's the secondary subscript, which is running this code inside the function. But now that we've got the thread as a variable, we can kill that thread later on. So, you know, perhaps we, we want to end this after three seconds. We don't we don't want it to print out the five second wait anymore. You know, we don't need it. We could say thread. Uh, I think it's I think it's cancel. Yeah, you say task dot cancel and you then put the thread in there. And uh, so what we'll expect here is the, the, the thread will start, but then we cancel it after three seconds. And obviously that's not long enough to see the five second wait print out. So we should just get the hello and we should get the goodbye after three seconds. Yeah, which we have. And if you look at that, we've not actually had the five second wait finished because we've canceled the thread. So that was a quick look into task.spawn and task.thread, <laughs> task.cancel, sorry. Uh, it's, it's a type of threading, multi-threading, um, which is basically running code um, in parallel. So yeah, hopefully it was useful. Let me know if it was and uh, I'll see you in the next one.